Welcome to another edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. We are your hosts. I'm Lauren. I'm Mike. And we have a scale model for you today that we're going to show you how to build. Today we are assembling the BK6436 164th scale Sasquatch Outpost. This kit includes five photoreal sheets with materials for one building, four model people, one bag of landscape moss, two matchsticks, six signposts, and one safe toothpick flag. The base of this kit measures 8.5 by 11 inches. The building footprint size is 9 by 4.25 inches, and the building stands at 5 inches tall. This building model is great for train layouts and scenery, slot car tracks, or simply a desk or shelf conversation starter. Alrighty, today we are going to be using the standard equipment for this type of model, a glue gun, scotch or invisible tape, a hobby or exacto knife, a metal ruler, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors, washable markers for when you want to touch up all of your pieces, and of course, a cutting mat. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to unpack all of our materials. Now, there are six sheets this along with a bunch of smaller accessories. So you're going to want to set the accessories aside and you have these sheets to cut out. Now, because there are a lot of smaller pieces with this one and a lot of illusion rooms, you are going to not only want your scissors, but you are going to want an X-Acto knife for those areas that you really want to make sure that you get properly done. All right, we are going to start with the front of the building, the ramp, and some of the dormer roof pieces. So you want to start with your scissors, make smooth, even cuts as much as you can, and then touch up your pieces that have a little bit too narrow of a way with your X-Acto knife. You know what? I think it's time for a little magic. There, that's so much better. Now that we've done all of our cutting out, we are going to score and go over with our washable markers just to make sure everything looks ultra realistic. And it's important to note on this model, we do want to take a little bit of extra care with our scoring because there are a few more details on this model than normal. Next, we're going to go through and score all the pieces that need to be scored. As I said before, there are some more intricacies in this model than previous models. So what we're going to do is score all of the glue tabs that we have on these two, uh, these two panels here. We have multiple doors that we're going to cut out. Again, you score on one side, cut through on three. Um, for this big garage, you're going to completely cut out all four sides of this on the back of the building. Um, and you're going to go on the roof along these white lines on the main panel of the roof, the um, skinny one that goes on the top, you're going to score down the center, and then the triangles that help with the little outlets, and as well as our illusion windows. I'm going to explain this piece in just a second, but first we're going to go through and score everything on the white lines in the doors.
So now that we've cut out this uh, garage door on the back, what you can do with this if you choose to is um, just kind of glue it on the back here, like this glue or tape, whichever you prefer, so it looks like this door is working and functional. Um, and behind that, you are able to put one of the illusion rooms. So it looks like Sasquatch is going through the storage room. So that is your choice, it is up to you. Um, but yes, if you would like to, you can absolutely glue this door on wherever you'd like. Now that we've done most of the scoring, I wanted to take a second and speak a little bit about this piece here because it's a little more intricate. So this is going to be the ramp going up to the front of the store. So right along this wood piece here. So what you're going to score for this is you're gonna go right along this line here as well as this line here, so those fold under. And then for the fence, you're going to score along this bottom line here, as well as right down this little middle yellow line here. So this second half folds behind, if that makes sense. So I'll do it right here so you can see what to score where, and we'll make sure that that ramp is looking nice and pretty for the storefront. So for the ramp now, you can see these little wood pieces fold under to form the bottom of the ramp. And again, as I said, we're going to score right along here for the fence and down this center line here so it folds behind itself. So your finished piece should look like this, so the back of the fence is on the back, front there, that'll fold up and sit nicely to make a ramp for the storefront. Now we're just gonna go through with our washable markers and touch up any areas that may need a little color. Um, so I'm just gonna go through and touch up all the areas that we need to, like the white here on the roof. Take the corresponding colors with your markers and just go ahead and get to it. Next step, we are going to start assembling our building. So we're gonna start with our illusion rooms on the base of the model and then move towards the walls and I'll walk you through it step by step. So starting with the illusion rooms, the easiest way to do these, um, they're marked on the base here. So again, the easiest way to do that is to flip them over and tape right along where you want the illusion room to stay. So what we're gonna do, just so it lines up correctly and holds it in place while we put our glue along the back. And then afterwards, you can take your tape off. So while that glue is setting, before we take off the tape, we are going to attach our loading garage. Um, and again, you're just gonna flip everything over and just so the garage door is peeking out just a little bit, just glue it on the back real quick. Just so it's sticking out just a little bit like that. 
Next, we are going to assemble our ramp. And how you're gonna do this is we're going to start with gluing down these triangle pieces to the ramp to make a little bit of an incline. Okay. So for the next step in making this little ramp here, we're just going to fix the fence so that these two sides are glued to the back of each other so it folds up and we have a fence on the front and fence on the back. Next, you're gonna take these two pieces of the longer fencing and glue them to the back of each other. So they line up and then we're going to place them along one edge of the fence just to finish it off. Um, so when it is on the building, it looks like a ramp with a fence. And once you have your railing assembled, you're just going to attach the back flap to the corner so it forms a nice right angle. And again, for any and all of this, if using tape would help you, by all means, go ahead and use that tape. So now that we have our ramp fully assembled, we're going to attach it to our building. Something important to note here, you're gonna wanna line up the edge of the fence with the edge of the building here, just to make sure that everything is lined up. So you're going to go ahead and line up the fence with the edge of the building, just like that. The last step is to attach this little sign to one of the sides of the building and then we're gonna start assembling the building itself. So you're gonna take this little, little sign and you're going to attach it just so it sticks out and so it um, has that 3D effect on the side that has that exact image of the sign. So we're gonna do that real quick and then we'll start assembling our building. So to start our building, we are going to start with the front and the back of the building. So grab that piece that we just added the ramp to, and we're going to attach it. You can kind of see where the layout is. You're just going to um, hold it in with tape if you need to, and line it up and glue that in place. And then we're going to do the same thing with the back of the building. Now that our front and back pieces of the building have been assembled, all that's left to do to assemble the walls is to add on the two sides. And you're gonna use those, again, if you need the tape, go ahead and use that. We also have the glue tabs on each of the sides to help us out this time. And now you have your four walls built. And I'm gonna pass it over to Mike and he's gonna tell you how to assemble the roof. All right, now that we have our building, at least for the most part, assembled, it is time to give it a roof, maybe some landscaping, and let's open up the Sasquatch Outpost for business. Our first step in putting on our roof is actually going to be putting on this awning right here above the ramp. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your glue gun, 
put a string of glue right along here. And attach it along this blue line. For our next step, we are going to want to put on our roof. Now you're going to want to have scored right along here, but each of these little hash marks need to go right in between those dormers, just like that. So go ahead and throw some glue along the edge here. Perfect. Next, you're going to want to take five of these little, little dormers and you're going to want to place them on top of these ridges like so. And there we have our dormer. Alrighty, for our next step, you're going to want to take this piece right here and make sure that these little notches are on the top. And you're just going to want to line this up and slip that on up. Make sure that it's flush on both sides and glue it down. All right, our final piece is this thin one right here. Make sure that it is scored right down the middle and goes on top of our roof, just like this. And now we have a completed roof. All right, now that our building for the most part has been completed, all we're missing now is a little landscaping. Now, what I love about this model is that it comes with a lot of different accessories that you can do a variety of things with. So you have a bunch of posts, you have a bunch of poles, moss, and signs, and of course, customers. And if you want, you can even put a couple, uh, couple cars out front. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is give this place its main sign. So you're going to want to take this Bailey Colorado sign, go ahead and put some glue on it, and then put two of these posts. Now if the posts are not the same height, or they're just too long, you can go ahead and take your X-Acto knife and make them even. And once you have that, go ahead and pick a spot in the parking lot. And don't worry about that glob of glue that's on your parking lot, because next we're gonna do a little bit of landscaping with our moss. Go ahead and put some extra glue around it. Now all you have to do is just go around your building and just kind of put, put some shrubs wherever you want. Now that we have some of our shrubbery done, we're gonna add in at least one of these little 
signs. And some customers. And your building is now complete. There are a few things that Americans love more than the Sasquatch. And this Sasquatch outpost is an actual building in Bailey, Colorado, just a short drive from downtown Denver. It's a museum, a retail shop that is dedicated to the Sasquatch and actually hosts regular meetings to share sightings and stories with other enthusiasts. They are admirers, they are researchers, and they absolutely love documenting everybody's sightings. Whether you're a novice or whether you're an experienced squatcher, you will find a great home here at the Sasquatch Outpost. That concludes this edition of Innovative Hobby Supply Time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we hope you join us again next time. You know, I gotta say, you know, next time I'm in Bailey, I'm definitely gonna stop in. Oh, same here. I wanna visit that place. Yeah.